Well, good morning, Ethan. Good morning. How are you doing, James? Fabulous. Beautiful day. No joke. Absolutely. Thank you, Paul, for joining us. Yes, thank you, Paul. Thank you, viewers, for joining us. Wouldn't yeah. be here oh, without you. Didn't see you there. <laughs> Hello. How are you? So today I think we wanted to talk about, and really to help inform our clients, um, and really anyone watching the video, is how to find a good contractor. Who right. To look for so I've got some pet peeves. I am an electrical contractor, been an electrical contractor and general contractor for long, long, long time. Uh, he doesn't look that old. He looks great. Whatever. <laughs> so um, this is my fidget spinner. It's an old Federal Pacific. Um, yeah. Um, so one thing is a lot of times when it comes to electrical, especially like with a panel replacement. Right. It's, it's really daunting because it's, it's kind of a big job. There's a lot of money involved. But here's uh, number one, I'll use my fingers today. Number one thing is if you're starting to get estimates or talk to an electrical contractor, don't work with anybody that tries to make you afraid. Mm. Scare tactics. Scare tactics. Yeah. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. I don't care if even what they're saying is true. Just me as a human, if somebody's trying to kind of coerce me, right. using fears, like, I, I don't want you around. Absolutely. No. Hit the road, Jack. Take your Federal Pacific Breaker, go home. There you go. Pound Federal Pacific Breakers. You can you, you can tell them James and Nathan said so. Take that to the bank, buddy. And you call us up. We'll, no. yeah, we'll, we'll come, come and tell them for you. You leave a comment <laughs> below right after you subscribe and you say, I just told so-and-so so I don't get sued <laughs> right? to go pound the Federal. And I want to find a good electrician. The electrician, again, you work with should, again, explain to you what's going on or why your panel, what the process is and why it needs to be changed. Absolutely. But not just in electrician ease. It should right. be common sense so the homeowner right. understands. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the reason is not because the, the person you're talking to isn't a knowledgeable or competent. Absolutely. It's because he doesn't necessarily care about you enough to make sure you understand. Exactly. Okay? Because in the universe, we call them COU, Centers of the Universe. Yes, we do. Different video. Um, your electrician shouldn't be the COU. Yeah. You as the homeowner should be the COU. Exactly. That is a big deal to me. Uh, number two thing uh, beyond avoiding scare tactic people mm -hmm. is um, make sure the process feels complete. Right. Okay. So like any job you have or work at your house, make sure you understand the details and you know, preferably in writing, when it's done. Absolutely. Okay. Because if you just say, hey, we have a panel change. In my mind, there's like a thousand details. Yeah. Absolutely. So is it done when the power's back on? Is it done when there's no more holes in the wall? Yeah, exactly. You know, is, has the fire stopped <laughs> so we're good? Yeah. So my point is it should make sense to you, like any work you have done at your house, when is it done? Yeah. Well, and, and really it should be done when the inspector comes by and gives a, a green tag mm -hmm. and everything's kind of checked off the But again, in your process, it's kind of overwhelming. You're talking yeah. to somebody in, in an industry usually you don't know anything about. Exactly. And you should feel comfortable with what's going on. And again, you should know when we're a green light to go. Absolutely. Gotcha. Um, the other thing, a lot of times if you're in a rush or we're all busy, check, check the reviews and the references. Absolutely. Check them, check them, check them. Uh, I bumped into people working on my own property in my house, and uh, I, they were a referral, and I talked to them, they seemed so likable, and then I went online, it's like, hmm, maybe so you not so much. hire people to work on your house? I, yes. I thought you did it all. I do a lot, <laughs> but I am getting old, and I'm tired. Gotcha. That's right. Uh, so you did the like, work, the research, reviews, yep. even on referrals. Absolutely. Yeah. No, referrals are nice, because you don't have to go to, I was going to say the yellow pages, sorry, I'm old. Uh, I don't go to Yelp or online. Yelp's the right word, right? Yelp's a good one. Nice. Um, you need to check it out. Yeah. Okay. So the other thing is even if you have a great advertising and great website and you only have a couple of reviews, mm -hmm. you need to figure out why. Absolutely. Okay. So like on any work, especially like the panel, the panel, once you have it changed or replaced, it should be good for as long as you own that house for decades. Certainly. It should be golden. So do the process. Don't let yourself be rushed. Make sure you're comfortable with what's being done and who's doing it. Absolutely. And that's, I think that was three. Yeah. That's my three. Three solid. That's what I got. Awesome. Thanks, man. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave some comments below. We'd love to hear from you guys. Yep. Love those questions. Keep them coming.